You have a range of farmers in the three Northern California counties that have been ground zero for pot production for decades. Those who do it right and follow the rules and the illegal growth sometimes hidden on federal land. Now the state is cracking down, warning farmers to clean up their act or shut down. Humboldt County is home to ancient redwood forests, environmentally sensitive creeks and streams, and pot. The county sheriff showed us these photos from a recent raid where you can see the dirty side of the weed industry. Investigators found trash, hazardous waste, and even raw sewage all next to an endangered salmon spawning area. There's a long history of illegal cultivation uh, in the North Coast. Chief David Bess is with the State Department of Fish and Wildlife. Since legalizations come in, we see many of the folks who want to comply uh, getting on board with the legal framework and going through the proper licensing. There's a whole bunch of folks who are not. That is where the focus has shifted. While state regulators are ensuring licensed farms are following the state rules, Fish and Wildlife is going after those who aren't. Last month, they arrested three men at four allegedly illegal sites, and authorities say they discovered $3 million in hidden cash. The men have been released pending charges. In nearby Trinity County, U.S. Attorney McGregor Scott recently showed what was left behind after a raid on national forest land. It makes me angry because this is a national asset, it's a national treasure, and it's being despoiled by criminals. This grow had 4,000 plants before it was eradicated in 2017, but a year later, there are still mounds of garbage, hoses, and toxic pesticides, including traces of carbofurin used to kill insects. Carbofurin is as lethal that where a quarter of a teaspoon can kill a 600-pound male African lion. Scott says many of these illegal groves hidden on federal lands are run by Mexican drug cartels. They often tap into nearby streams and creeks to water their plants. As all of us in California know, there already is not enough water to go around. And massive amounts of it are being now diverted to this illegal criminal enterprise to grow marijuana. The people doing the illegal farming usually have little regard for the environment, which means hazardous waste can trickle into the nearby streams and creeks. Environmentalists say the toxins and sediment that end up in the water can kill native animals and endangered salmon. Once it's there, it takes a really long time to flush out, so it's more of a, a chronic problem like cancer and it's much harder to fix, much more expensive to fix. Last month, $2.5 million in federal funding was earmarked to target illegal cannabis growing operations in Northern California. We're going to focus on the ones that are causing the most significant environmental damage and go after them first, but ultimately knowing that our mission is going to be to come after everybody who's not in the legal framework. Environmentalists are now suing Humboldt County. The Friends of the Eel River filed a complaint just two days ago. They claim the county's new pot rules failed to adequately protect native fish and waters from the impacts of cannabis cultivation. For the I-Team, Dan Noyes, ABC7 News.